So we're back on still doing the uh, paint job. Um, I wasn't happy with the roof. Um, you can look at one of the pictures I've done. It was quite streaky, um, which was um, pretty much down to me using the, not the gun wrong, but well, I suppose in a way um, the um, pattern. Obviously, coming out of the gun, the fan was sort of like what two, three inches. So obviously, when I was going across the roof, I wasn't getting a proper overlap. Um, which didn't look too bad, but as soon as you've got the lacquer on it, obviously you can look on this side and it was lovely and clear. You look from the other side, you can see all the stripes, so I wasn't happy with it. So um, the roof's been redone. Um, probably got one um, coat on there to finish it off, but I did have a few issues on the door as well. Um, so uh, that door, driver's door, is fine, ready to be put on the car and then wet sanded. The boot is neat, that bit down there has got a tiny run. Um, so I just need a bit wet dry on that, that can have another coat of lacquer, then that's done. The fuel cap, fuel cap's all done. Obviously just needs um, wet polish down to get that nice and glossy, but that's pretty cool, happy with that. Um, now the roof, I did put, lobbed a, I obviously rubbed it down using uh, emery cloth, um, I mean emery cloth, scotch white pad. Um, quite a few times, clean it all off, prepped it, blah blah blah, chucked some paint in it, and then came back in the morning and it was all wrinkled. I didn't take a picture of it because <clears throat> I wanted to cry, not really, but um, it was this kind of things. This is the bonnet. Um, after googling a lot and bits and bobs, this comes up as sort of wrinkling, cracking, blah blah blah, um, which I wasn't too happy about because the bonnet, I put another thick coat of the bonnet. Once getting used to the gun, making it a um, a wider spray pattern um, and a lot more material on it. It's getting a nice, e not more of an even base coat um, and it wrinkled up an hour. So all the research I've done on the web and just moving around is the reason it crinkles like that. <clears throat> Let me think of there is. The reason it does crinkles like that um, is pretty much a chemical reaction. Either way you take it, it's the paint. doesn't want to stick to whatever's under it and just rises up. Um, and the way to get round this, or the way I've got round it anyway, is um, Scotch pad. I think it's 360. Don't know what grit that refers to in sandpaper, but just going that over it, sand it down lightly to its flat. So literally, I can't feel those in the slightest. Um, and obviously, these you can you can see it's high. So literally, it's just get nice and flat, properly clean it, degrease it, get it wiped down, let it dry, tackle off it, and then the the way to get rid of it is just dust it. So literally. A, literally a dusting from spray guns probably foot two foot away from the bonnet just a dusting over it come on zoom in and there we go um yeah literally just a dusting over it so what happens is if it is one of the chemical reactions you're chucking loads of paint or a paint a coat of paint on it um and there's too much solvent in the paint so it's reacting with whatever's on the bonnet or whatever panel so the idea of doing a dusting coat is obviously i mean the roof i've done probably about 10 dusting coats on the main areas that it was um, bubbled up, crinkled up, whatever you want to call it. Um, and obviously after sort of the fifth and sixth sort of dust over it, um, I've obviously increased more and more, obviously paint and closer to it to get it to eventually have a nice thick coat over it. Um, what was I going to say? And also when you're doing the dusting coats is, again, what I've researched and found out is to leave it a lot longer between um, the next layer so this base coat in this garage and conditions is taking 10 minutes and you can probably stick another coat on it's nice and dry so i've left it a good half hour 40 minutes come back put a bit more on and so on and so on so i'm just going to get the bonnet sorted oh sunroof i'll show you the sunroof because i haven't touched that yet that's what it was doing that's what it did on the um bonnet on the roof and as you can see it's obviously it's sort of dried in that patch and then it's gone done that mess so that's that's what it's doing anywhere else yeah more little crinkling there so again this sun has been a nightmare i don't know why um every time i've got paint in it it's just not want to stick but um again i'll leave that to last i'm more interested in getting the um roof finished off get the bonnet on because obviously the big panels of sunroof i can do whenever um so plan is to finish the bonnet off, get some paint on it without standing on it. Um, I'm just going to dust it where it on the floor, just it's any light coats. And once I'm happy, it's got a nice even bit on it. I'll hang it back over there and then 
do the same with the roof, get some nice coats onto it. And then ideally tonight, I want to get a clear coat on the roof, that door and the bonnet. Um, Cause it's getting a bit annoying now. I'll see when I spray in color, I've got to keep wrapping everything up. Um, the door, the door's looking good. It was just, um, again, where I've got it up here, I couldn't see too much. Obviously around the top and I had a few runs up there. Um, and I, and I sort of just wasn't happy with it. Can't see anything now. Um, so again, I just um, scotch patted that all down, wiped, cleaned it off, etc. Through some dusted some paint, and it's come up really good. So fingers crossed. I'll get some clear cut on tonight, and it'll look nice and shiny like this. Well, that's covered in dust, but it wipes off nice and easy. So I'm looking forward to getting this all clear coated, getting the panels back on, leaving it a good couple of days to let all the lacquer really harden and cure and etc and then uh, get wet sand and polishing. Right then, that's the last of the lacquer used off. Um, so I don't know where I was last time, but the front of the bonnet's all done, back of the bonnet is all done. About three or four coats in it, got really good. Nice, uh, shiny finish. Um, boots fine. Um, also, it's just dust everywhere now. That done. The other doors went really well. Um, happy with that. Obviously, just to catch up, I redone the runs. There were some runs on uh, the top part, and where Alfie spraying, I couldn't see perfectly. At the top there's a few runs so that's been sand and redone the roof it's got its final sort of last thick coat on it now um i'm really happy about that's gone a bit of an issue in the middle was looking a bit funny but i see how it sets um but i want to get cracked on with this i need to wipe the car down and get all the dust off it and then i can start pulling off the rest of the masking um and then hopefully i want to hang the doors and panels back on um, and I can sort of concentrate on the interior start cleaning that and doing that while the rest of the sort of paint I'll leave it a good week probably two weeks um, while the paint proper sets or clear cut even before I start wet sanding um, sunroof um, has been sanded again this is the issue I kept having in the middle so I've rubbed all that down um, it did go through to metal again so I'll just put a quick dust um, Dusting coat of a uh, etch primer on that. I'll do a few more dust coats on that to get it builded up. Um, and the um, grill, lower grill part, um, pop that off. Again, I just rub that down. Bit of 150 grit, then some um, Scotch Bright. A bit of primer on that. Um, so once they're primed up, um, I've got enough paint left over. I'll get some paint on them, um, and then get a clear coat. But I'm not too worried about those. Are any little bit so. Ideally, I want to get this, get cracked on the interior and get this all, give it a clean up, de dust, and then I can start putting the inside back in. So I'll get this edited and stick it up.